Hello friends, welcome to Wikipedia. This channel widely covers different topic of mechanical engineering and our aim is to learn and motivate others to learn and uh, today's topic will be plastic comparison. This is a small and interesting and short video. So I mean under the plastic category you can see different videos of mine which talks about each and every plastics in, a, in detail and this video is a summary of complete comparison of all plastics which is coming under different type numbers. So let us move, to, move into the video. So what is plastic? So plastic is basically synthetic polymer. So what is mean by synthetic? Synthetic is artificially manufactured. Synthetic means artificially manufactured and polymer. What is mean by polymer? So you can see the small information in the right side. So there are two molecules attract or come together and form a single unit that is called monomer. So ethylene is the example over here. And this monomers, multi monomers come nearer and get bonded with each other through, through a chain. This is called polymer. And this process of, um, I mean, joining the, linking the monomers is called polymerization. So polyethylene is the example. And this, I mean, so basically the plastics are synthetic polymers. The, through the polymerization process, artificially that is just connected and converted into different type of plastics. So the plastic basic raw material is derived from natural gas oil and crude oils so you can see over here natural gas is further converted into ethane and propane and butane one of the byproduct and same way the crude oil during the processing naphtha comes out as a one of the byproduct from the crude oil and naphtha further lead to production of ethane propane and butane and that lead to the production of ethylene propylene and butylene so this is the basic uh, route of raw material production of plastics, various plastics. Naphtha is the basic and very important raw material, I mean raw material base for all type of plastics. You can see the image over here. So the crude oil is getting uh, processed, fractional distillations and at various temperatures we get different byproducts and naphtha is one of the byproducts which is the base for all plastics raw materials. So let us see, we already seen there are two categories of plastics, one is thermoplastics and another thermosetting plastics. Now in this video we will not talk about that area, we will see what types of plastics are there by uh, I mean international bodies. There are seven numbers are there, this is resin identification number we can say. So this, the purpose of this number, there are two things out of this number we get it. One is the end user can understand which type of material being used in this product. Second one is, so how is to recycle this material. So one is easily it can be recyclable and seven is tough or not able to recycle. This is a message we get out of this numbers. You can see it starts from one and ends at seven. One is PET. 2 is polyethylene terephthalate and 2 is high density propylene and 3 polyvinyl chloride and LDP low density polyethylene 4 and polypropylene is 5 and polystyrene is 6 and other plastics comes under 7. So you can see the outputs of these particular plastics like bottles, HTP is Again, food containers and PVC is sheets, pipes, etc. And LDP is bags, plastic films, and some type of soft bottles also can be used, produced. And PP is all wide applications in automobile and even food packages in home appliances like like plastic uh, chairs, toys, etc. And polystyrene is the packaging purpose, and other nylon. Uh, 
polycarbonate fiber plastics etc etc being used in various other areas like commercially also in some of the things uh, in household purpose but not in food areas majorly not in food areas because it is uh, toxic so next next we go and see in detail comparison of these seven plastics so there is small summary of seven plastics a simple summary just give a clear out view of these seven plastics so already the abbreviation we have seen pet hdp pvc ldp pp ps and others so that you, you know the name and abbreviation and recent number already we discussed it starts from 1 ends at 7 so recyclability like i said is commonly one is easy ease to recycle so commonly recycle these two plastics and pvc and ldp sometimes recycle pp is occasionally recycled and further two things are difficult to recycle and one interesting information over here a decompose lead time it's 5 to 10 years PET and 100 years for HDP and PVC is there is no limit and HDP is 500 to 1000 years like that is what we the majority of bags polythene bags are made in LDP that is what nowadays different countries and different governments are restricting the use of polythene bags because the you can see the decomposing lead time is very high it pollutes the environment and pp is 20 to 30 years and ps is 50 years and further plastics the same way it is infinity and coming to max temperature holding is 70 pet and 120 sdp and pvc is 70 and these are the pet and soft materials so easily meltable and 80 is ldp and PP is the highest melting temperature plastic in this category and PS is 90 and some cat, some of the plastics under the category of 7 is this melting point is beyond PP but is general category the 7 is and toxicity point of view HDP is low and LDP and PP are widely used in food products food products that are safe for food beverage usages and remaining all highly toxic so end user whenever you are using any plastic products for food applications or eatable storage applications please see the number so it can be 254 because that is safe for usage remaining all other material is highly toxic so it can impact your health and coming to the advantages PET is very clear and light weight and soft its advantage uh, advantage and uniqueness of this particular plastic HDP it is hard and chemical resistance is good fuel tanks and bottles etc it can be produced and it's versatile can be soft or hard is pipes home applications PVC pipes sheets PVC sheets being produced LDP is very soft, lightweight, safe for food storage. Even it's good chemical resistance also. It is it produces soft bottles, even glucose bottles, which is used in medical applications. Coming to PP, it is temperature and chemical resistance, safe for good food storage. It is toys, uh, home appliance, buckets. Uh, and different type of shape I mean containers and coming to automobile industries interior exterior products majorly are produced by PP and PS polystyrene a lightweight and flexible product and other remains based on the application it is being like nylon high wear resistance gears and other products are being used fiber class is having high impact resistance so based on the application different plastics are used this seventh category so all clubbed into the single category here as seventh hope friends this page will give you complete clarity about all 
seven type of plastics thanks for watching please like and subscribe my channel thanks